Southeastern Arizona is one of the premier birding destinations in the United States. With its diverse habitats, high abundance of species, and stunning landscapes making it an irresistible location for birding enthusiasts. For those eager to immerse themselves in the avian wonderland, the Southeast Arizona Birding Festival offers an ideal opportunity. Since its inception in 2011, this annual festival has become a highlight for birders worldwide. Held typically in August to coincide with fall migration, the event lures in hundreds of participants who want a first-hand experience of this birding haven. Attendees can participate in a wide array of activities, including guided tours, workshops, presentations by keynote speakers, vendor exhibits, social events, and more. In order to showcase the festival experience, my friend Nathaniel and I traveled to southeastern Arizona, doing some birding on our own before heading to registration at the Hilton Hotel, where the festival headquarters were stationed. Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today me and my friend Nathaniel are at the Southeast Arizona Birding Festival. Never been to a birding festival before, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. We're about to go get registered. Hopefully we'll meet some cool people and see some cool birds. We checked in at the hotel and started exploring. It was immediately evident how much buzz there was around the start of the festival. Checked in, got our badges. Now we're just walking around the expo. There's all kinds of optics and the different companies talking about their stuff, so we're gonna visit some of the booths, see what it's all about. At the expo, I caught up with Donald from Vortex Optics, who's also excited about the beginning of the festivities. Hey, I'm Donald with Vortex. We're just so happy to be here in Tucson, the Southeast Arizona Birding Festival. Got all the optics here. So what's, what's the best one? Best one? I go with the Vipers. That's my favorite. Although everybody loves our Diamondbacks. You probably can't go wrong with either. Can't go wrong with either. I mean, come on. Awesome. Are you looking for any specific bird at the festival? Anything and everything. Anything and everything. Yes. Also can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Again. Luke Safford of Tucson Audubon kicked off the festival with young birder Grayson, who checked off the first bird on our list of species. Costas hummingbird. Oh, there it is, the first mark of the festival. During the event, tour groups would check off what they saw after their trips returned, which highlighted the high diversity of species in southeastern Arizona. One of the speakers this year, Arian Dwarshais, who holds the global Big Year record, was also there to do a drawing for his new book, The Big Year That Flew By. The best Dutch burger in Arizona. Who also has his life for Montezuma quail today. That, that's legit. So we've been checking out all the booths. It's been really fun to talk to everybody. There's field trips, the camera stuff, artists, different things. And then they have the field trips going on uh, throughout the week that you could sign up for in advance. And then they also have um, these different like activities and presentations that you can go to. So there's so much going on here at the Birding Festival. There's such a buzz for like the first day and all the activities. And I feel like it's going to be a great week. Unfortunately, we can't stay that long, but I'm glad we'll at least get a little taste of it. All right, we just left, but we made a lot of cool connections, got a lot of business cards, pamphlets, got a Montezuma Quail t-shirt. So I think it was, it went really well and it was a lot of fun. And that's kind of the end of the festivities for now. We're gonna go get some dinner and then we got our field trips starting tomorrow. So today we're headed to the hotel where the festival takes place for the Madeira Canyon field trip. And this is like a famous Arizona birding location that I've never been to. I'm super excited for it. Also have my festival shirt on. Really love the way that they design their shirts. They look really nice and clean. It's got a violet crown hummingbird on it. So let's go check out Madeira Canyon. Our guides for the trip were Janice Travis of King Ranch and local guide Gordon. We boarded the van and eventually reached our beautiful destination. We made it to Madeira Canyon. So our group's looking at a Bell's Vireo singing right now and we had a flock of turkey vultures fly over. Janice and Gordon immediately started picking out birds and also gave helpful tips on identifying them, including the Bell's Vireos that were extremely abundant. I think Sibley describes yeah, it as it, having a blank look because yeah. of that pale supercilium. Yeah. It, well, I, saw it, but I, didn't see it. I know, you didn't see it well. <laughs> I saw it. But yeah. It kind of asks <laughs> yeah. the question and answers the question, but it doesn't really follow that exactly. Sometimes it's abbreviated and stuff like that. But that's how I learned it, and I thought, well, that's kind of a cool little saying. 
Further down the trail, we had great looks at lesser goldfinches, as well as a regal greyhawk. Some of the more colorful species, such as hooded oriole and blue grosbeak, were also present, but preferred to remain more hidden. We wrapped up our walk and headed to a famous location in Madera Canyon, Santa Rita Lodge, which had a bird buffet set up, bringing in many classic Arizona species. We had some cool stuff at the trail we stopped at, but now we're at the Santa Rita Lodge feeders. They have a really awesome setup with hummingbird feeders and regular ones and water features. And so there's been a hepatic tanager coming in, males and females we've seen. There's supposed to be a bear line hummingbird that we haven't seen yet, but there's rivulies, um, broad-billed Arizona woodpecker stopped by. So we've just had a good array of species. There were turkeys on the way in, and there's a bunch of people watching the feeders. We actually ran into some more people we actually know. So it's been really good, and it's a great, nice shaded place to come hang out, and it's a little cooler, so it's not as hot as some of the other places we've been. Although we could have spent all day at the lodge, we walked down one of the roads, getting some nice views of other birds we hadn't gotten good looks at yet. And we're walking one of the roads and got a really nice view of a bridal titmouse. It's also western wood peewees make a noise, and Mexican jays, acorn woodpeckers, had a hawk fly over. It's nice and cool in here though, so it's a good place to come. Um, one other, in other places it'd be pretty hot, but really enjoying those bridal titmice. From the road, we parked in a higher elevation area and walked one of the trails, spotting a stunning western tanager and ending up at a spot where one of the top Arizona birding targets can be found. So apparently this is the spot at Madera Canyon where people have been seeing and hearing trogans. We came up here just for a little bit. We didn't hear or see anything. It's cool to be in an area where they could be. Um, we did have them earlier in our trip at Ramsey Canyon, so that was neat. Would have been really cool to see one here, but that's all right. It's just neat to be in an area where they, they could be in at any second one could fly in and you could see one. So we're going to head back down, maybe hit a couple other places before heading out. I'd love to have like an entire day to explore here, maybe get here super early when the trogans are more active. Um, Gordon was saying that it's not like their breeding season, so they're not calling and being as vocal, so they're a little harder to find this time of year. Before wrapping up our trip, we made one final stop to see if we could pick up any species last minute. Things are kind of slowing down, but we have had some nice acorn woodpecker views and a calling raven. Right so we're just kind of walking some of these roads, and then I think we're going to head back down. What's your favorite thing we saw? Greyhawk. The greyhawk. We did briefly hear a sulfur-bellied flycatcher, and it flew past us quickly, but sadly, not everyone got eyes on it. With the day becoming hotter, we headed back to the van and concluded our field trip. Back at the hotel, I talked with our guides about the day we had and the festival. I'm Janice from King Ranch. We did the Madera Canyon sample tour and came back with 47 species. It was a great day. And I'm Gordon. I'm from Phoenix area, and uh, I go to Madera Canyon quite frequently, and I always love going there, and I highly encourage people, if you get to southeast Arizona, come and see the birds. What was your guys' favorite thing we saw? Rivoli's hummingbird. That was beautiful. Yeah. I like that, but we had great views of a great hawk. Yeah. And yeah. I don't always get that. So why should people come do the festival? Because there's so much to see and do, and we have so many places to go. There's more than just the Madeira Canyon. Lots of sky islands to investigate. Yes. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for doing the tour, guys. We should You're do. welcome. Thank you. Before everyone left, we made sure to mark our sightings down on the festival checklist. Bam. At the checklist board, I also talked with Jill, another participant on the field trip, about what she enjoys most about the festival. So I just like the collaborative effort of it, where you have a lot of people with different talents that one person is a spotter, one person can hear, one person knows functions on your phone. And it's wonderful when you get together in a big group like this because it helps you learn about the birds and what kinds you're seeing. So What was your favorite wonderful. thing we saw? I guess I'll have to say the um, Rivoli's Hummingbird. Nice. Awesome. So, yeah, cool. it was Thanks a so great much. time. After one more lap around Expo, we decided to head out and end our festivities for the day. We had a really fun time at the Southeast Arizona Birding Festival. I think my favorite thing is all the connections you make and all the people you meet. Just with shared interests, it's really fun to talk. And I felt like everyone I talked to who I met for the first time, we, like, we had a mutual person that we knew. So it's kind of a smaller world than you might think. 
And I would encourage you to check out a birding festival if you've never done it before. There's a little bit of something for everybody. And I think uh, everyone I've met has had a really good time here and we definitely enjoyed it as well. So I would encourage you to check out a festival in your area or fly to one near you like the Southeast Arizona Birding Festival. If you'd like to learn more about the Southeast Arizona Birding Festival, check out the link in the description below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Thank you.